a serious strong warning. You are a very high. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone is coming to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now listen what I mean. And hello everybody, it's Ishmael and your priest, and I welcome you to today's video. Let me tell you that do expect this. There is somebody that is coming and they have to come. You must accept that they must come. There is no way they won't come because of what you are. What you are and what you're still asking for will get to them. Okay, you don't want somebody to come. My advice to you right now is that pray to God. If you don't want nobody to come, please do this. Pray to God that, Lord, turn me into nothing. Lord, make nobody to notice me. Let nobody take me serious. Let people uh, discard me and like let me be a nothing. And let me tell you that there is nobody that is going to come. For instance, let's try to get, dive deeper into what I'm saying right now. As terrible as it is, you look at... Uh, a woman, woman, for example, who is taken advantage of, maybe she gets to be as uh, forcefully, sexually intercourse, if you are to use the word, you know what I mean, right? Forcefully so. The reason is the case, there was a man that noticed that, and the man got attracted, and the man could not help himself, and was like, oh, I want this, oh, in a bad manner. But then again, the very same man, there were some women whom he passed, and he, you could not be pushed to that extent. So what does that tell you? Something about that woman. They say the more beautiful a woman is, more men they go to her, right? And uh, the less beautiful she is or the less attractive, not as many men. To show that there is something about that beautiful woman. The more money a man has, the more women want him. But when he is broke, only a few number of women will go to him. So what does this tell you? There is something about you. Anything that you want that is good, it is, will attract. As a Kaya, the people of Babylon, when they came to visit him after he was sick, he showed them everything in the temple. And as a result, they later came to possess each and everything and took everything to Babylon to steal, in fact, for that matter. Because they saw something. Nobody will go and rob an empty house. You must look at yourself. Jesus, Herod, wanted to kill him as a baby. I'm talking about a baby, an innocent baby that does not even have a record. Moses, they wanted to kill him as a baby, a baby that has not even done anything. You know, I was watching this Terminator 2 Judgment Day movie just yesterday. You know the movie majority of you. So one of the men that they wanted to kill him was that guy called Dyson. The man they say he was the one who was to uh, is it develop the Skynet thing that was going to kill, destroy is it 3 billion lives and stuff like that. And the man, when they went, when that lady, Sarah, wanted to kill him, shooting him, he was like, so you're judging me based on things that I have not done yet. So you guys want to kill me and now you are angry at me? And you are only saying because in the future I'm going to develop this and it's going to kill people. And now you are angry. I haven't even done that yet. That's the thing. There is something. The enemy wants you down for what you can do. Everything when there is something inside of you, he wants you down. But when there is nothing, there is nothing that he wants from you. That is why they will be coming to attack. They will be coming to try you. Never ever expect anything great that you're asking for, whereas there won't be any some sort of an attack. That's why the moment you will start to see people saying that they are jealous, why can they be jealous while you have nothing? Jealousy is only given to people who have something great. Nobody can be jealous of a, a hobo or a street kid or street man. You know what I'm saying? A homeless person. Have you ever heard of such? So that's why sometimes we must learn to look at life with reality. The reason the Jews wanted to kill Jesus is because he was doing or having an impact. He was doing something, but those that were doing nothing, those who appear to be useless, they do not care about them. So you see, I wonder why people today 
are crying. Why as a Christian you go to social media, you are complaining, oh, they hate me, they are gossiping, they are... Listen, like, have I ever got to a point where like, or seen a point where in life, people being jealous over a useless person? The fact that they are saying something, it means you are something. It is in two ways. Yes, they can say something because you provoke them. But if you did not provoke them, expect them to say something because you are doing something that they can't do. Something extraordinary. Something that makes them to question things. People, whenever they see a good thing, they will always try by all means to find something to fault. Not necessarily because there is a fault, but they are trying to make themselves feel better about it so that they don't stress over it. We know those things. I have been in that situation. It's just that I never really allowed it to really dwell into me, to grow inside of me. But when I would realize somebody has achieved something that I had not yet achieved, when it hurts me, what about me? I'm falling behind. A bit of it will make me to think of something why I should be okay. For instance, if when I was growing up, you know, when you're still at school or you're just finishing your studies, you're not yet working and stuff. One of the major first challenges that happens is when you see your peers, like they buy a car. You yourself, you're not yet working. It hurts a bit. You feel like, okay, now people are buying cars. What about me? So quickly, when I would learn that um, the, probably the parents are the ones who bought them a car, that would make me feel a bit better. But the reality would be not that because it's parents and indeed I'm feeling better. But that will give me some sort of a comfort that, okay, oh, even you, if your parents would buy for you, oh, come on, oh, so, ah, come on, that is not a competition. And even if that person was to buy themselves a car, it does not mean that I was going to be like, oh, I'm happy for you because, yes, I'm proud. A bit of it will still hurt a bit. I was just going to find a way to not, ah, not entertain jealousy. So the thing is this. We all get to be jealous at some point. We all get to be what, 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 what. But the major important thing is not to entertain that evil thought. That's the main thing that you need to know. You will always, like a human, any human being, have some wicked, some na 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 thoughts. But when you don't entertain it, that's what matters the most. When you quickly dust it off, that's it. Read the Bible. Even Peter, at some time, the devil will talk through him. And Jesus will say, get thee behind me, Satan. So there is never a time where you will be perfect. Even as apostles, when Peter was scared to eat with the Gentiles, Paul was the one who rebuked Peter. The man who stayed with Jesus all along. But still, there were some things which could not do the correct manner. So being a Christian, Christian does not mean perfection. You will be whole. That's why on a daily basis, we read the Bible we allow God and we repent or we go before God and say, purify us, help me on a daily basis as long as we live. That is why do not let them scare you. They are coming for what's yours. They only attack what is a threat. When they see that someone is starting to do things at their home, is starting to go there, that is why some people will be like, it's witchcraft. They killed him. They killed her. And she was starting to prosper. She was starting to ask yourself a question. Why can't they kill someone who's just useless? That is why it is good to stay in the sight of God. Because you know, whatever you get, nobody can take away from you. Allow me to tell you that anybody that is coming after you. In fact, let me put it like this. I want to address anything and anybody that is coming against you in an evil kind of manner. Oh my God. Let them regret. Let them not come. Let them not touch you. May they see you as untouchable. There are those that are going to push you away in life. And let me remind you that it does not mean that you are useless when you are pushed away. There will be people who will have the guts to push you away, to mistreat you. Although they, were, they had jackpot with you. But that does not mean you are nothing. It's their loss. That's why eventually they get to regret. Eventually they get to see this was a high value person. There will always be someone who wants to challenge your value in life. There will always be somebody who is low but is trying to be there. 
That's why even when it comes to artists, big artists, there will always be someone very small who is nothing, not known at all, try to act like I can, you know, I can be, do this better than you. There will always be someone who thinks they can take you on. Even when it comes to fights, boxing and all, there will always be someone who wants to challenge the most uh, greatest fighter, the greatest boxer. Want to challenge Floyd Mayweather. You know what happened to Logan Paul, right? He tried to, he fought, also he also fought um, Floyd Mayweather. The thing is this, Logan Paul was not a pro, he was not a boxer, but he felt like, oh, maybe I can beat you. So there will always be someone, there will always be someone who feels like as high value as you are, oh, come on, I deserve better. That is why you always have to remember who you are. Don't let them, the way they act, don't let it put you down. That's why there are those who are going to enter your life, they will act like they don't need you, they will mistreat you, they will take you for granted. And if you allow that to make you feel down, ah, now that this person has left my life, I, I guess I've lost value, you will go down. That is why there are always those people that will be like, hey, hey girl, don't allow it to hurt you. You deserve better. You can get someone even better. And indeed, if you look at it like that, you do get someone better. You'll be like, eh, I can't believe I was worried about and while actually I was the one who was, you get what I'm saying? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Anybody that comes against you to challenge, to challenge your value that God has put inside of you, let them be disappointed. I pray, I declare and declare. Like the Bible said, no witchcraft against Jacob. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Let no witchcraft, let no sabotaging, let no anything stand in your way. May you have all that God promised you and may you get where God wants you to be. I declare and I declare in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details are in the comment section below. See you next time.